The name of my story is The Call That Began an Uncomfortable Conversation. Last Wednesday, Uncle Floyd made a difficult phone call, one he'd been putting off for a few days. The whole thing going on about uh, how Cat attacked Gator while at down at the river, and the missing backdoor key needs to be resolved. So Uncle Floyd finally found out Cat's mother's name, Natasha Doolittle, and he called her on the phone last Wednesday. They made plans to meet at the Cornerstone Coffee Shop for Wednesday evening. But Natasha never showed up, and she never called on Thursday to say why. So Uncle Floyd called her again on Friday. But Natasha was not sure she could make it on Friday evening. So they planned to meet on Saturday morning at the Cornerstone. And actually, I was there with Trinity on the run, and I saw them sitting at that little separate table right across from the elevator in the hallway to the side of the door. And to say the least, she's not a very pleasant character. Here, here she is, Natasha Doolittle. <laughs> Natasha Doolittle, yes. <laughs> Uncle Floyd explained the whole situation to her about how Gator had skipped church that Sunday morning, that it had snowed so pretty out, and how Gator went to down at the river and he threw some little stones at the edge of the river where the ice was forming. And then he saw a bump over there and he decided to throw a big rock at the bump in the snow and the bump turned out to be Cat. And Cat jumped up and he was angry and he jumped on Gator and he clawed at Gator's underbelly and Gator needed stitches at the emergency room even. And, and by the way, Gator is much better now. You can see he hardly has any scars left at all. You can just see a little mark there. He's feeling much better. Yeah. It, it just, <clears throat> meow, yeah. Well, Natasha responded by saying in her son's defense, Please remember, my son was asleep and suddenly startled awake by a humongous boulder landing on him. And I believe he even carried your son, your son, all the way to your house. She seems to be very unpleasant. This is Cat, her son, by the way. He's not in the story this morning, but he's the son of Natasha Doolittle. Yes. Yeah. And as if this was not uncomfortable enough, Uncle Floyd still needs to tell Natasha Doolittle about his <coughs> suspicion that Cat might have the key to the back door. As you can imagine, this is a very difficult conversation. Um, I reckon I thank your son, Cat, for carrying Gator home, and, and that was a kind act of him. And Uncle Floyd swallowed hard and said, the key to our back door is missing, and Gator believes that Cat might know something about that. My son is not a thief, hissed Natasha. I reckon you might ask him if he remembers where he placed the key after he locked our back door. Natasha hissed once more and stuck her tail curved up into the air and loudly clicked her heels and abruptly left the coffee shop. Sometimes God calls us to difficult conversations. And as hard as they might be, he also calls us to do so with kindness and with strength. It would be so easy to shout and hiss right back at Natasha. Only a very strong person can have a difficult conversation and remain calm and kind. Good job, Uncle Floyd. The end. <laughs>